One of the best smelling snacks ever was an ice cream sandwich. The chocolatey, cookie like out, cakey outside, and the vanilla ice cream inside. Not chocolate. Must be vanilla. Mm. Oh, yeah, always vanilla. Go to the grocery, get yourself a box of ice cream sandwiches, open them up, and smell it. Smell the paper before you open it up and, and tell me it doesn't smell like, a, like a ditto from a mimeograph. How about we just agree? I can't. Does? I, I have I have uh, an aversion to ice cream sandwiches now because it was ice cream sandwiches were involved in the only time my father ever physically struck me. So you can't eat he ice was cream very, sandwiches. He was very like you know oh, verbally fuck. abusive oh, if you want to put it that way. Yeah. But um, but uh, one time he hit me. That's when you Actually stole the quarters. Smacked me. Yeah. Yes. See, I I pay attention. Yes, I stole the quarters. To get an ice cream sandwich because you were starving because he wasn't feeding you properly. Yes, thank you. Because he was too busy doing other things. And I know he, this yep, story. He insisted that so I bought model rockets with it because right. I was into model rocketry. Right. And uh, I didn't. I bought a, one whole box of ice cream sandwiches and ate the entire box. It was delicious. Of course it is. What a great fucking time that was. You can't just have there. one of those. I ate the entire box because I went to Thrifty Drug and Discount Store out there in California. And I went in with the quarters. And then I just, uh, Anthony deserved to be hit. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> people, are, people are saying. Uh, so I ate the whole box of ice cream sandwiches. And then once they found out the quarters were missing, Dad took me outside uh, and on our way to the uh, stable uh, said, Did you steal uh, Corey's quarters? And Who's I went, Corey? Corey was his uh, girlfriend. Corey Lytle. Wife. Yeah, Corey, Corey Lytle. <laughs> we were flying to the And then the Corey was depressed uh, because he was missing money and went for a little little plane ride. Yeah. Corey was my father's girlfriend and then later the wife. Ah. Yeah. Was she hot? Uh, she was hot in her younger years. I'll give her that. Uh, she had naked pictures in, in the um, uh, one of the night tables, in my father's night table, and I found them. Little naked Polaroids of when she was like in her 20s and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, yeah, pretty hot. Mm -hmm. um, are the kids listening right now? What? what? Uh, you know how we like to do that bit, but are the kids at school right now? I don't want to talk about the bit. Yeah, probably. So maybe tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. We'll right, maybe we'll bit. do it tomorrow. Yeah, that bit's anyway, good. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. That bit is good. Yeah, so uh, uh, we went for a little drive, and then he said, did you take the quarters? And I was like, well, yeah. He goes, what'd you buy with it? I said, ice cream sandwiches. I was starving. I was really hungry. And he goes, no, you bought you bought the fucking rockets with it, didn't you? I'm like, What's no, I bought ice cream sandwiches. I'm starving. I have it whack right across the face. Why? And then, <laughs> and he goes, shut up. Stop crying or I'll give you something to cry about. That was always his thing yeah. when I would cry. Stop crying or I'll give you something to cry well, about. It's like, well, you just did. <laughs> you just you smacked me. something to cry you about. You smacked right. me very hard in the face. Yeah, that's, that's what you should have said. You just did, cocksucker. Oh, that would have been a good one. Then it wouldn't have been open hand. Would have been nice closed. Fist. Would he have punched you in the face Ow. for that? Why? Uh, yeah, he probably would have punched me. But why would he be point. bothered that you want to buy model rockets? That doesn't uh, make sense. That means he's got a, a smart kid. Here it is. No, he's mad that no, he's, he's mad. mad that the quarters were gone. It was. Yes, mad at but himself. It, <clears throat> he was mad at himself Ooh. for not feeding his kid. You think so? See, yeah, yeah. He was very like like embarrassed. I think with the fact that I bought a box of ice cream sandwiches because I was starving. And he wasn't supporting uh, his child. So he, instead, if I had used the quarters to buy model rockets, then it was my fault. See, that's why, you know, oh, okay. hence the smack in the face. And I think, I think honestly, he wanted to slap himself. Ooh, someone's going to therapy. No, I'm not. I Someone just, just yeah. used the shiny. I swear to God. <laughs> it is one of those things. Yet. It's one of those things where it's like, if you can't figure that shit out. Right, right. That maybe he did it to is. himself. Yeah, maybe he did it to himself. You don't think your dad was a happy yeah. person? Uh, no, no. I think my father was very uh, depressed. About what? Uh, just, you know, depression. Whatever makes someone depressed. You know, he could never fucking... He could never hit that high note, Alice. It was just one of those things. New York, failed marriage, couldn't really fucking hold a job or anything. He goes out to California to become a cowboy. And uh, he does pretty good. Opens up a welding business kind of a thing, and then the the fucking economy turned around, and that went down the shitter. So he was just kind of like, eh, eh. Was, eh. was he a smart guy? Yeah, he's a pretty smart guy. So he was why really smart he with scamming out? because I think he'd rather scam and try to figure out a way to turn a few bucks. Um, you want to take the shortcut? Yeah, the shortcut 
instead of you know really applying Digging and, in. and working and doing things. So What's he look like? Is there a picture of him online? Um, Are you a Facebook or something? Probably got one somewhere. I, I've heard I that you think. look exactly like your father. Really? Not exactly. We're he was pretty close. He was like horseshoe bald at like um, twenty five. Whoa. Yeah. And uh, someone in your family told me that you look very. Yeah, there is a similar. Like um, there is a, a big similarity. I know I got pictures at home, but <clears throat> you know, online on my computer. But yeah, so now whenever I eat ice cream sandwiches. And then I had another ice cream sandwich uh, problem with uh, Uncle Joe. What did Uncle Joe do? Well, Uncle Joe was living at our house when he was, was growing he, pot he was marijuana growing the pot. in the backyard. And your mom thought it was oregano. And he was with hippie Aunt longer. Pat. Sure. Yeah. And they lived uh, downstairs when we were living upstairs in a rented house, I guess, to supplement the uh, ink, uh, the rent and stuff like that. And he shared our refrigerator. He didn't have one downstairs. So he got big ice cream sandwiches and put him in a big box and put it in the uh, freezer. And all of us, me, my brother and sister, just opened up the freezer and were like, whoa. So we just started mowing down on Uncle Joe's That's ice cream sandwiches. That's what kids do, of course. I know. You can't have a box of ice cream sandwiches and assume the kids aren't going to get out of it. But his reaction was so good because he, he went into the kitchen, and we're all sitting on the couch watching TV, and he goes into the kitchen, opens up the freezer, and, and we were notorious for leaving empty boxes in in the freezer and fridge. Well, like, notorious for doing that. Yeah, you can't throw the box out because no. then he's on to you. The, yeah, You're just hoping you. that he forgets about it. Exactly. So he, <laughs> uh, he took the empty box out, and I hear, I hear oh, from in the, uh, in the uh, kitchen. And then he comes out with the empty box, looks at us, and just goes, you bummers, and threw the <laughs> box at us. <laughs> he said, you bummers, and threw the box at us. Who said that? <laughs> My Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe. He was probably stoned out of his gourd, and like the thought of those ice cream sandwiches was the best thing in the world. <laughs> when, he opened, when he opened the freezer and saw the box, he's just like, ah. And then he opened, lifts up the box, and it's empty. We were indeed bummers. We bummed him out, but what? just just to hear him go, you <laughs> bummers, and then threw the empty, like, fucking one-ounce box at us. Uh, <laughs> what's worse than an empty ice cream sandwich box? Oh, when you're stoned like that, you just want to have ice uh. cream sandwich, and it's empty, and he just bought it. Oh, that's great. That's fucking funny. Uncle Joe. So you, you're scared of ice cream sandwiches? No, there's just Would that. it bring back some of these memories if you had one? When I eat ice cream sandwiches, I, I enjoy them thoroughly. But I don't eat them much uh, these days. But uh, I always think of those two instances. Mm -hmm. More so the, the slap in the face one than the you bummers. You, you bummers. bummers was kind of fun. Yeah, you got to be still, chuckling inside a little to bit. To this day, we still uh, goof on Uncle Joe about that at family functions. You bummers. Did, did, I, pick, uh, did I pick anything? What? I don't pick my nose as much, but I got a foul odor on my index finger. Ew. Was did I itching your anything? Asshole? I don't know. Did your you finger. wipe your ass and Was miss? I sitting on my finger? You, before you were oh, bouncing, oh. you kept going, yay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he did that, but that is a what the conjures fuck up an is image. this from? Did you miss when you wiped? I was itching behind my ear. Let's get E-Rock in here to oh, smell what it. What do you got, fucking... It's not uh, as bad as what you got going, Jimmy. But it's fucking rank. E-Rock. No, nah, it's... Uh, honestly, it's No, but be... I mean the belly button and that. I want to see which is worse. No, it's going to be a bust on the air. I'm... It might be. Nothing worse than white when you wipe from. from. You got your, your nice thing of toilet paper. You wipe, and then you just feel flesh on one finger. And you go, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I laugh at that. Up to and the knuckle. You go, you I go, laugh at that. It's easy. You go, oh, boy, I missed. This is the hoodie that got the shit on and the And you sleeve. wash your finger, <laughs> and it's fine until five minutes later. <laughs> oh, that's your shit hoodie? This is the shit hoodie. <laughs> shit hoodie. <laughs> I roll up the sleeve now so I don't get shit on the... the Good uh, plan. The cuff or whatever Good you plan. want to call it. The, uh, what is this part of the fucking... A cuff. Yeah, but it's not a cuff because it's hoof. a shirt. A paw. Why don't we take a fucking break? <laughs> Good story, though, Aunt Fuck. Oh, ice cream sandwich now. God damn. So your dad was miserable. Yeah, he was a miserable guy. That's why he was always what? looking for something, you know? That's why he went out to California. That's why, you know, with the horses and, and the ranch and then... Uh, us kids being out there, but but still being really irresponsible, and I don't know, he was just never a happy guy. What and I think I saw him, I, I saw him sober, like once when I went out to California. Oh, he went to the doctor, and the doctor said, "Hey, your liver's going to come out your asshole," pretty much. 
So uh, he was having the doctor some, told you that told him that. Oh, him. Yeah. No, not me. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he um, he had to stop drinking for like a month or something while they did some tests and everything. So he, he stopped drinking. He was drinking like this orange soda all the time. And I think that was the only time for any length of time where I actually hung out and saw him sober. Everywhere, every time else, like wow. in the morning, in the morning I would see him, you know, so, but he'd be like, uh, uh, hung over. Uh, uh. Right. And then after a few beers, he was cool because he was leveled out. But then after that, it was just drunk, drunk guy. He didn't die from the liver though, right? No, no, no. The, the ticker? Ticker gave out. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember my mom not being on psych meds. Really? Don't remember anymore. Not at all? Not anymore. Uh. Not anymore. Eek. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice to have a good cry. <laughs> we had broken parents. Uh, that's why I'm so fucked up now. Because of my upbringing. That's why I do all the bad things. I just shut up. <laughs> Suck it up, you faggots. <laughs> Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. I think Anthony has that conversation in the mirror every morning when he's brushing his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it up, faggot. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm like Gollum. You want to <laughs> talking to myself? You want to have a good cry with us, Jimmy? <laughs> Yeah. But like, father was good. He was good to us. No, he wasn't. He smacked you with ice cream sandwiches. But he was good. We had fun riding horses. Stop crying. But you never ate. Stop crying, you bummers. <laughs> <laughs> you bummers. Jimmy, think of something sad and get a good cry out, and we'll join you. Will you tell us what you're thinking about? Yeah. Give us a good, like, upbringing, that, something that should have fucked you up as a kid, a lot of people uh, get fucked up by <laughs> something, but you skated right through. There you go. Oh, I all right. I was uh, for uh, my first thought was the pay difference between all of us. <laughs> I had some tears. <laughs> um, now think of something that I what do you mean I should have skated. Yeah, is there something like that your parents did uh, where it was like, wow, you know, that's kind of fucked up for a parent to do. <laughs> no, <laughs> you asshole. I really can't think of anything my parents did. No? no, there's not one instance where you, you as a child, thought like, "Well, it's kind of fucked up for a parent to do." No, no. I remember being surprised. This doesn't make me sad though. I remember being surprised. I was moving my Zim Zam in the back. The fuck is a Zim? Oh, not Zim Zam. It was a batter up. It was like a big oh, cement okay. block, and uh, you, you you had a, a big metal pole through it. And a thing that a fake baseball on the end of it, you'd swing it, and it would you could you could practice your batting swing. Yeah, that's how retards practice batting. <laughs> okay, well I owned one. <laughs> and, what a retard? Uh, yes, I, I did. <laughs> I would use his tongue. We would do forty-five, fifty stamps at a time. <laughs> so I was. Uh, my mother was helping me move it, and we were putting it down. And she told me be careful because she had hurt her hand. Oh. And I dropped it, and it crushed. It crushed her finger. <laughs> <laughs> I did exactly what she just told me not to do. And she went. Oh, she went. You fuck. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> Mother called me a fuck. Uh, How old were you? At twelve or whatever. Oh, that's terrible, though. Your it, mom she calling was, you a fuck. I was very. Uh, you. You <laughs> fuck. You. Fuck! She, really said she said, "You fuck!" <laughs> Holy shit, that is hysterical. It was uh, not one of my finer moments. <laughs> you fuck! How old were you? Did you say uh, twelve? I want to oh, say that's a bad age. Oh you got wow! The hormones pumping through but your I, body. I was I was more embarrassed. <laughs> like I wasn't mad at her. It's the best part is she could have just yelled out. Right. Yeah, and like because she was hurt, but to say you fuck was like you're the fuck because you caused this. She, well, we both knew who the problem was. She goes, "Be very careful." I hurt my hand, and I just <laughs> dropped it. <laughs> And it, fuck, her fingers swelled all up. I can't picture that lovely woman that left you those voicemails calling you out. You fuck. Oh, it was her fucking... Oh, is that he, great? He was a hurting Johnny. Oh, you got here. I got to read this one. Steve B. from Connecticut. My mom, enraged and screaming at us from the top of the stairs, said, 
why did I have kids? I could have had a Mercedes. <laughs> it was so absurd, I almost did a spit take. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that might stick with you. Uh, yeah, like I said, you got to suck it up. Let's go to Guy, the trucker. Uh, hello, Guy. Hey, man, how you doing? All right, Guy. Boy, do I have a fucked up life. <laughs> I should be a miserable son of a bitch right now, but I'm pretty happy. Oh, are you? I oh yeah. Well, what? I had a mother. I had a mother. I had five stepdads. Oh, what a whore! <laughs> yeah, they all tried to beat me one way or another to get me straightened out. One thought I should be left-handed when I was right-handed, and uh, anyway, so my mother thought she had too many kids because she married these guys, and they all had stepkids. Oh. There's like twelve of us at one time. Fuck any of them. So she, twelve. <laughs> and so she figured that uh, if she got me adopted out to one of her friends, that would be one less she had to take care of. Oh, really? Well, this woman this woman used to have two uh, schnauzers, and she used to sit around and drink and sit on her cows and pet her dogs and piss her pants. And she went out one day, and she just made me crawl under the house and put decon under the house because of the mice. And when I wouldn't do it, she chased me with a cat of nine tails like a hose she had cut and sliced it and she chased me around the bed and i'd run away and go back to my parents house tell them hey man you know you need to get me out of here this woman's a crazy old witch and you know i i ended up getting married i've been married 30 some years now and i've got six kids and i've raised them all and i think that helped me out to tell you the truth to go through all that shit. Yeah, it should have fucked you up. Pretty, yeah, of pretty course. bad. <laughs> of course. But it didn't. Some people like have little things that happen, and they're like, you yeah. know. And I remember when I was a child, I was eating cake, and my father came in and said, "Why are you eating cake? Your your hiney looks." fat so i just cried and now i can't stop eating <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> shut up <laughs> i was just had the, this the difference between <laughs> you fuck you fuck <laughs> hold, hold on wait jimmy's finding something jimmy's on his phone. mommy we were a little distracted by uh, by jimmy trying to find something on his phone i love that we didn't get that on. caller you proper fuck. attention but uh, jimmy's oh, finding oh, something oh, hold on hold on here we go hold on. The, the, you fuck Hi, sweetheart. This is Mom. Uh, we just saw the Jay Leno show, and you were absolutely fantastic. Everything was perfect. You look great. Uh, is that just a mother? Handsome. Your it, clothes look great. You're handsome. The, the, the set. The set. And of your material was excellent, and <laughs> I like the idea that he introduced you. You were actually on the show. I thought it was going to be taped. But, I mean, it was just fantastic. It was better than we could have imagined. It was, you have arrived, my dear. And I love that you smiled. We saw your beautiful teeth. You feel relaxed. I can't think of it. it, it been. <laughs> I erased it. Oh, no, you didn't. Just now? Wait, I think you could get it back if you hit uh, three or something. I don't fucking know. What the fuck is I don't fucking know. Monday, September 14th at 9.37 a.m. Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. the fraud department. End of messages. Fuck! You erased it. You wanted that one. Yeah, man, fuck! Yeah, you wanted that one. Yeah, no, because I, I actually wanted to do something with it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Actually, we got it. Sort of. Hey, wait a minute. With us laughing. Yeah, but is any of it... Uh... Yeah, you might be able to get... Could isolate Jimmy's mic? Maybe. We'll figure no, it out. No, that was my home phone, Danny. That wasn't my iPhone. Oh. Usually, if you go, th once you erase it, it's just gone. Oh, that I suck. Know. I thought there was a way to get it back right away. I did, re to I play your know. messages. I don't know. Jimmy, I yeah. just want to say you looked wonderful, you fuck. <laughs> and your teeth, when you smiled, you fuck, were fantastic. Your material was great, you fuck. <laughs> God fucking... How much of that do we have? All of it. We have the whole thing. But and, and what could happen? Could, could you well, isolate Yeah, Jim's, we can just isolate Jim's mic. So oh, you won't hear shit. us laughing or anything? No, we'll... No, all right. hearing whatever's coming out of Jim's Oh, then that's fine. And then you can... Yeah, they'll fix it up in... Uh, yeah, you didn't talk during it. They'll fix it up in the ONA lab. It'll be oh, good. We didn't really talk, right? No. no I need Not really. To, yeah, you might have said, like, you know, like, that's my mother, you know, this and that. And that'll oh, what a mother I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck. 
I'm just mad because I wanted that audio for something. God <sighs> damn it. Um. Ugh. Let's that always fucking help. Well, I just hit the button. I just hit the wrong button on the iPhone. That's my fault. But well, listen, guys, we got a lot of people that want to suck. cry today. Tom and Philly, now you want to cry, right, Jimmy? I'm so mad and at myself. That's all right. It happens. Tom. Hi, guys. Hey, Tom. Yeah, it was Christmas Eve one year, and I was, uh, I don't know, 12, 13 years old, and uh, Dad got pissed off at me. He came up around uh, 10, 11 o'clock, pinched my tummy, and called me fatty. <laughs> I brought it up a couple years ago, and everybody looked at me like I had a dick run out of my forehead. But it affected you so much that you remember it? <laughs> yeah, but you know what? He doesn't. Of course he not. He never did such a thing. Of course not. It's just in passing when they do it, yeah, <laughs> but it's stuff that you stick sticks uh, with you. How did it affect you, fatty? <laughs> uh, I'm still fat, Jimmy. Huh? I'm still fat. By the way, Iraq, what are you working on right now? <laughs> 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 Brad in Jersey, Brad. Never necessary. The guy's just working hard on the hall, <laughs> minding his own fucking business. No, he's not. Doing he whatever he can to make this show better. He always not. We haven't even seen him yet today, but <laughs> he's rolling. Know he's here. Every, you know, he, know. Here he is. Here's what Iraq's doing. He's on his back in the office with a pack of Rolos, and he's <laughs> naked, and he's rubbing them the way a cat plays with an olive. <laughs> A cat plays with an olive? I've <laughs> never seen that before, Jim. Oh, my God. My cat, John, loved olives. John? That's my cat. Why did you name your cat John? I originally named him Susan, because I thought it was a girl. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, not Ted. <laughs> I didn't think of it. <laughs> meow, meow, Anthony. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> another olive. People get mad because I kicked the duty out of the litter box. <laughs> I always just scatter litter all over the rug. <laughs> Uh, Holy shit, there's some great calls coming in. Let's go to Brad in Jersey. Brad. Guys, thanks for letting me join the pity party. All right. um, no problem. One morning I woke up. Uh, I used to live with my old man, and my, with my dad and my grandmother. And one morning I woke up, my father was gone, and I didn't see him again for a good three years after that. What? Just left. Just got up and left. It turns out he passed away a few years ago, and I found out he actually went to jail for bigamy. Oh, Bigamy. I had a couple of wives there, eh? How the fuck you juggle a couple of wives? That is the most fucked he, up he, thing in this world. Yeah, he never legally divorced his first wife when he married my mother. And, uh, and so, yeah, he went to jail for three years for it. Yeah. I was in a relationship with a certain with a certain uh, uh, girl, uh -huh. woman, whatever uh -huh. you want to call it. Yes, in a relationship with uh -huh. a whose uh, father uh -huh. left on Christmas Day, walked out. On Christmas Day, and then uh, proceeded to just start a brand new family from scratch. New woman, new kids, and then didn't even acknowledge the other family existed. Ooh, talk about toting around a steamer trunk of baggage with that one. Did that make Christmas fun? Whoa! <laughs> Every fucking Christmas. Every Christmas and, and Father's Day. No, not poor Melinda, you dummy. <laughs> I decided to do something different. I found a girl that actually has a, a, a mother and a father. Wow, what's Why that like? Why would you do that? It's, it's, Holy shit. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice Is not to have weird? that. I don't have a dad baggage. Once you break you? the ice with the father. I though. fucking went through a streak like Anthony where it was, it was girls without fathers. Daddy baggage. And Holy all sudden, fuck. All of a sudden, you're just waking up. Uh, it's a beautiful day out, and there's there's... Complete. It's a complete nightmare in the house because uh, how are you supposed to know it's the long lost father's birthday or something? What the oh. fuck? Right? Oh, see now, people are commenting that the only reason it works with you is because uh, they're younger than you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't really acknowledge that when we all get together. <laughs> He's just, uh, he's just. Is it awkward? Like when a song comes on and one of them goes, "God, I remember this from high school," and you go, "Yeah, yeah, high school." <laughs> no, they, they try to trick me. Like you remember this? I'm like, no, not really, because you no. are just a few years older. No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it just works. Big, big Ken rules. Yeah, but we got some good stories here. Okay. Opie calls his father-in-law kiddo. <laughs> Steve from Bayshore. Hey, kiddo. You give him the old, like, soft little punch on the chin <laughs> when you see him. Hey there, kiddo. You tussle his hair. <laughs> Let's go to Logan in Westchester. Logan. Hey, boys. Good morning. Good morning hey, man. Morning. My favorite game as a kid, my... Um, I would make my mother scream so loud her false teeth would fly out of her mouth. 
Could you imagine? And that must be a great fuck. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good, though. Uh, oh, my aunt, oh, my Aunt Fran used to use the, because, uh, of course, the big fucking Italian uh, family and, and, and the kitchen had, like, these giant wooden spoon and fork crossed over, like, the table. Right. You know, just in case you want to grab them off the wall and have to cook real fast. Sure, sure. I don't even know what the hell they were there for, decor. But um, I remember uh, 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 getting, like, a whack on the ass with the spoon, with the big spoon, like, whoosh. And then for years, you'd go, I'd go over the house and be like, eh, it's the spoon. I don't have the weapon fucking hanging there as decor. There was a difference, though. My my yeah. mom hit me on the back of the fucking leg, below the fucking ass meat. Well, like thigh? That's sick shit. Yeah. R what about right on your freckle? <laughs> on the freckle. I mean, right on the hiney hole. <laughs> a good wooden spoon to the fanny. Yeah. You know, oh. Keeps everyone honest. But you hit that fucking back leg, holy my That's God, fucking... you'll, you'll jump up a bit. Yeah. That's some of that slave was trying to leave. Holy whipping. shit. I hear you. Let's go to Paul in Jersey. Paul. Yeah. Good evening. Hey, Paul. <laughs> What's up, guys? Yeah, um, I remember a couple of years ago, uh, fairly least, they had to go on and help my mom find my dad at strip club. So I was like a little 12 year old kid going around strip clubs finding my dad. <laughs> yeah. I did that with my friend Roy. We walked around and had to find his father, Roy, and my father. Because uh, uh, my mother and and Roy's wife uh, said, "Where where uh, where the where where are the guys?" And we said, "We'll look for them." And we didn't know, and they didn't know where we were going. But we just walked around up by the town, mm -hmm. and we saw like this topless joint, and we were like laughing, like he, he let's look <laughs> boobies, and and the windows are all painted over. They always had just a little but bit where you could scratches. see. There were always scratches. There was always scratches, especially the bottom, just from yep. anything, beer bottles. So you'd look in, and you could kind of see. And we saw uh, my father and Roy sitting at the bar just down in fucking beers watching the tit dancers when they were supposed to be out shopping for a barbecue and bringing the food back. And the wives are just sitting there like they can't do anything. They can't cook anything. They're just sitting there going, where are they? And they're down in beers in the tit bar. <laughs> you think one of them just said, hey, let's stop off and have a quick one? Oh. Oh, yeah, of and course. it turned into like fucking two, at least two hours of sitting there watching strippers. And then I think when <laughs> one guy opened the door to leave, uh, I, I yelled in like, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> and he came outside, what the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to make make time with this broad in down? here. He goes, I, and I said like, Mommy said, you know, you, you and Roy Roy have to come back and because you have the food. Did he hit you? Uh, yeah, he just punched me square on the face. No. He said, well, you go back there and tell him we're on our way. Was and don't tell him where we yeah, were. Not a word of this yeah. to your mother. Tell him we were shopping. We're still shopping. There's, you know, we just we got business. To, it was always some business to tend to. I think you're lying. I dot lying. Because that sounds like a happy day, sir. No, 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 no. That wasn't Who's your father, Tom Bosley? I didn't have a fake ID and go in there with I my friend and then sit down and see Tom Bosley there I with a the client lying. where he later explained that he had to do things like that to satisfy the client yeah. and he wasn't in there. Richie being was so himself. depressed. Oh, he's dead. Get his father is in a faggot. tit bar. Good. Yeah. Be happy about it. Exactly. At least he's on a fucking a, a oh. booth with a hole in it. He's at the hardware store fucking cranking huge bolts up his ass with a <laughs> fucking wrench. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is fun. This is a this is a fun call right here. Mike in Texas. Mike. Good evening. Hey. Hi. Hi, Mike. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Thanks. And uh, I gotta tell you why I'm hell. I'm scarred, and I will never go on another blind date. Holy shit! Uh, this girl, we're barely through appetizers. Just having some small talk, telling me that how she grew up with her grandparents. Right? She seems pretty well adjusted. Not, not even 6.30 at night. Long night to go. She explained that for the last 15 years, the reason she grew up with her grandparents because her mom walked out overnight. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, well, her mom walked out overnight because her dad's been doing 15 to who knows how long down in Brownsville, Texas, big boy pen for molesting several neighborhood girls, <laughs> including her sister. <laughs> Wow, dude! I hope you ran from that day, dude. Run. I was home by I was home by seven thirty, and out with the boys trying to drink away that experience. <laughs> in the in the words of one of my good friends, "Don't marry a face." <laughs> oh, gotta be more than just a face. Don't marry a face. Some people oh. get caught up in how beautiful the person is and ignores all the shit that's right in front of you.
It's right oh. there for the taking. And you ignore it because she's a <clears throat> face. Don't be good, fellas. Be good. See you, man. Oh, you can marry a beautiful girl, but yeah. you gotta make sure there's more than just the face happening. Ah. Get it? Got to remember that. Actually, uh, I'll never marry anything. Yeah, you're, ever again. Seven days. I, I think you're lying. Seven days. I will. I oh, you're shan't. You're lying. I shan't marry. Let's say hi to Bill. Hello, Bill. <laughs> In Georgia. Hello, boys. Hey. Hey, when I was about 13, my dad told me I was a little short, fat kid. My dad told me that I looked like an Irish potato with two toothpicks stuck in it. I've never forgotten that. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible. That's going to leave a scar, right? Yeah. Hey, Ant. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hey, I'm, I'm loading up a full trailer load of uh, beer. You want me to run by the house with it? I little, got plenty. A little beer run? Yeah, I'm making a beer run here down in the making. You, you need a little beer. You got the big wedding this weekend, Ant. Yeah. <laughs> There's even some O'Doul's on here. Jimmy can take can partake. I don't drink O'Doul's. All right. You know, you old bastard. Taking <laughs> Opie's advice, I might marry again. Never marry a face. I'm going to dig up Jane Mansfield. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Which part? <laughs> well, the lower half. You don't marry the face. Oh. <laughs> what smells worse, her vag or Jennifer Aniston's? Oh, my God. That's going to be a, that's a <laughs> rough be one. Aniston. At least without a head, she's not going to be talking about Brad Pitt. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. Ling right. Lingered two hours ago. <laughs> uh, let's go to Kevin in New Hampshire. Kevin. Hey. Uh, good evening. Yeah. Good evening. I, uh, well, reminiscent to Opie's story um, with the beating underneath the ass cheeks where you can't walk for six months because of the welts on your legs. Let me tell you how that all happened and why I became a vet tech in order to atone for my sins. Um, when I was very young, my brother and I had a tire swing in our front yard that the tire rotted out of, so it was just like a big, like a hole that you put your foot in and swing on. Mm -hmm. And we thought it'd be cool, cool, uh, cool and cute to have my mother's uh, cocker spaniel, ironically named Lucky, <laughs> swing in it. Ironically <laughs> named Lucky. Uh, how cute so, is that? So, so we're pushing the dog, trying to put his ass cheeks up on the swing. And about that time, my dad pulled in the driveway, and he goes, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and I turned around and let the dog go, and that dog got caught in that noose, and it broke its neck instantly. Oh, he shit, you hung right, the dog. Right in front of my mother and father. I killed her dog. Wow. Now they uh, must have punished you. Fuck. you. <laughs> yeah, it was that's, the worst that's a you beating. fuck. It was the worst beating of epic proportions. And to this day, my mother... You know, 35 years later, we'll still say, you killed my dog. Well, you to did. bring it up in every argument. You did. Yeah, you kind of did. Well, Creep. You know, All right, I was so only I was only eight years old. I, mean. I think we have time for maybe two more. Then we got to take a break. Right, right. Uh, thank you, sir. Nate in Tennessee. Nate. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, man. Hey. Yeah, this one's real fucked up. Whenever the, I was about 16... Um, I went out. I woke up in the middle of the night. Went outside to look for my mother because I couldn't find her. Found her out there uh, in her nightgown. Come to turn out, she told my father that she was raped that night. Oh, she was trying to cover up for an affair she was having. Yeah, yeah, she was. She, uh, yeah, after an investigation, it turns out she was having an affair. Holy shit! Having an affair. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Uh, hold on, something just got fucked up here. Oh, yeah, what the hell's going on there? Are you sure you want to... Uh, yeah. I want to hear a good okay. drunk mom story. Yeah, let's go to there, uh, to this one. Kevin in Jersey, what's up, Kevin? Hey, guys. Hey. Uh, I'm like eight years old. Uh, my mom used to make me wear these, this like super thick uh, snowsuit, you know, like all the kids did. They bundle them up at that age. <clears> so I'm on my way home from school. I'm laying down on the snow. It's a great snowy day. I'm doing the snow angel. All is well in my world. Suddenly I look up and my mom's drunken face is looking down at me. She lifts me up, just starts wailing on me, then looks at me and says, Don't get any snow on your fucking snowsuit. <laughs> but it's a snowsuit, Mommy. But it's a exactly. snowsuit. Exactly. <laughs> she went through a rough patch. Don't they, don't a rough they, patch. Don't they understand what this does to a, a kid? I had another girlfriend. Uh, oh, uh -oh. Uh, this one was uh, severe baggage also. Um, give, me, give me a hint so I could, you know. Uh, no, you don't. You don't really know this one. It's going way back. Yeah, you don't know. Before. It. Yeah, yeah. Before. And before. Before. Before the. Uh, before the ex 
Mm. Yeah, before the wife. Um, she uh, was in high school, I believe. and Not at the time we were going out. Right. But when she was in high school, her mother was like raging alky. And um, she came downstairs, and her mother is on the floor of the kitchen. But she had always passed out drunk and just lay there. So she tries to wake her up. She's like, Mom, and the mother's like, ah, all groggy and shit. So she goes, ah, she just puts a blanket on her, a little pillow under her head and stuff like that, and then goes off to school. Uh-oh. She comes back home. Nothing's moved. She goes, hello, Ma? Eh, nothing. Dead. Dead as a doorknob. Apparently... She not only was laying on the floor, but on the way from standing to the floor, she hit her head on the corner of the counter and bashed in her head and then hit the floor. So she was semi-conscious. Oh, my God. And, and the kid went to school knowing that if maybe she'd have noticed, right. she might have been able to call the ambulance or something like that. She was always haunted by that guilt of just leaving her mother die on the kitchen floor. Wow. What a treat that was around Mother's Day sure. and holidays like that. Sure. Oh, what a treat just any day. Uh, sometimes she would just burst out crying for no reason. And yeah, that kitchen floor was spotless, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'll deal with that for a little while. Would you ever tease her if she started like, cleaning the counter and go, hey, you missed a little brain matter? Hey, ha, ha, don't slip. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh. Yeah, she wasn't... Um, yeah, she was a little off about that situation. Ooh. We're looking for good stories. Dad nearly beat me to death for playing with matches. I mean, come on. That's, oh, come that's, on, stop that's, it. We yeah. burnt fucking places down. Exactly. Mom threw a fork at me when I was eight. Come oh, on. please. Fork? Come on, stop. Oh. Let's go to Phil in Minnesota. Phil. Phil. Hello, Phil. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Um, I was born a heroin-addicted baby, and I guess I was about a year and a half. My mom OD'd, and my the father, the supposed father, uh, came home, found her dead, and slit his own wrist. And right. they called me in the in the apartment days later, crying, not knowing what to do, wandering around. Were you eating your parents? <laughs> Were you hungry <laughs> no. and just eating, gnawing away at your parents? <laughs> so, no. how, how has this affected you now that you're an adult? Uh, well, I've gone through my stint of uh, drug abuse and whatnot. Um, no, ne negatively. How is this? Yeah, yeah exactly. Negatively? <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes negatively? Like. <laughs> well, I, I guess it's just, you know, haunting that, you know, my parents, especially the supposed father, didn't want anything to do with me. Yeah, you you're know? so unwanted. Yeah, yeah. But that's all I got. I'm punching out. Thank you, yeah, sir. Yeah. Right, buddy. Literally? Oh, we, uh, yeah. Sorry. We, I guess we should take a break. We I have to piss so yeah, my fucking break. My, my <laughs> nose therapy. hurts. <laughs> therapy session's over. My mom beat me with a toy dolphin made of sand. <laughs> my mom went to jail and left me alone when I was one. Nice. When I was 13, my dad was so mad he called me a cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> I cocksucker. My mom got addicted to coke and ran off with the coke dealer. Oh, my, my mom tried to cast a demon on me when I was eight. Yeah. Holy crap. We got to take some of these uh, when we get back.